everybody. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you're having a great day. Now, I know that some of y'all are familiar with us for our debris netting. You may know us for some of our other job site safety products. But what you may not be quite as familiar with us for are temporary enclosure materials, uh, materials that are designed specifically to contain dust or environmental contaminants, or winterize a job site, protect against extreme weather. Today, we're gonna to talk about scaffolite. Now, the conventional wisdom, if you are winterizing a site, if you are painting, if you're doing abatement work, or if you're just looking to contain finer debris, has been to use a reinforced poly sheeting. The downfall to this sheeting is the installation. Now, imagine with me for just a second that you're really high up in the air. Okay, not that high. But let's say you're 30 or 40 feet up in the air and your job is to install a poly sheeting onto a scaffold. Now, let's say it's really cold that day, you're wearing gloves, and you hook a wind clip onto the side of the scaffold and the wind is just whipping at that poly sheeting. It knocks the wind clip right off. The next option is to hang off the side of the scaffold and use a tie wire to connect the poly sheeting. And if you're lucky, the tie wire doesn't just rip the sheeting and drop the whole thing completely down. I've got an easier way to do that. Enter scaffolite. Now, as you can see, this material is a little bit thicker than the typical reinforced poly sheeting. It's 12 mils. It is also reinforced along the seam. This blue seam is double the regular material. So this is a 24 mil seam. And the ease of installation on this comes with the eyelet. It installs from the inside. Now, these, this material comes with a bungee. The bungee pokes through the inside of this material through the eyelet and the bungee then wraps around the scaffold. As you can see, the J-hook on the end of the bungee then links back onto the bungee itself. This is a much easier installation. It saves time and money uh, and labor. The material is UV uh, treated. It is tear resistant. The FR version's material meets the NFPA 701 Test Method 2 standard. It checks off all the boxes, and I'm gonna reiterate again, it's easier to install, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money. If you have any questions about this, I didn't really go into full detail. I linked a video below that shows the actual installation method of it. I've also linked in our website, uh, my email address. Don't be a stranger, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks again for your time, and have a great rest of your day.